Like, why didn't you put her in the car with you as you were driving? Like, take her, take her with you. Why, mm -hmm. why aren't you putting her in the car? Why are you not leaving her at home? I mean, I'm, I, I'm not condoning either, well, either one, but in a car where you're enclosed and confined to such a small space. We live in Florida. The heat be heat in here. When I tell you. So I can only imagine, you know, to sit a child in a car, the, air, the AC's not going to do much. No, no. No. Not with a car just sitting there after a while, too. The air is not the same. It does not get up to cool the car off. And it's been like, what? It's been 95 degrees with a heat index of like 102 yes. in Florida. This is my thing. That speaks loudly to me. I mean, I'm a grandparent and I'm a mother. When you talk about people having to go to work but not being able to find childcare, yeah. not being able to afford childcare, it's almost like, hey, I need this job, but I also have my baby with me. So I think it leaves them in a real, really weird position. Right. Um, and to make decisions that are not wise decisions, but not wanting to lose your job because mm -hmm. you got to take care of the baby. Yeah. So what she did was not great, but at the same time, it makes me think a little deeper than, well, what an irresponsible person you are. She might have thought she was being really yeah. responsible 